Ram TRX move over because there's a new sheriff in town and it has a bow tie on the front of it. So there's always seemed to be this disconnect between manufacturers and performance enthusiasts. Like, see the last thing that I just talked about with the Bronco Raptor not featuring a V8. This time, though, they hit the nail on the head with a truck available only through GM dealers nationwide. Enter the 800 horsepower Silverado Yanko SC. This thing starts with a 2024 Silverado or GMC Sierra. This time we're talking about the Silverado, though. And you could take the crew or double cab LT, LTZ, RST, or high country model with any bed size. And you can now order it with an 800 horsepower package from the factory. Of course, the only drawback here is that there is no option for a regular cab short bed. As far as I know, I'm not sure if they don't make the regular cab short bed at all anymore or if there's just no v8 um but which is that's kind of crazy it's another thing like these disconnects between the community and what we want and and the manufacturers there's no reason why they couldn't make a regular cab short bed with a v it's it's a mess but anyways those things have a, a soft spot in my heart obviously um not an option here uh what the cool thing about this package though is that it is not only like probably the most powerful truck that you can buy with a warranty but it's also a street truck and i don't know why all the performance trucks that come out from manufacturers are off-roaders but this is definitely not that it's lowered sitting on low profile tires and bigger wheels and it's just so cool to see a performance street truck again because that's such a cool niche that just kind of gets ignored by manufacturers for the most part. So how do they get to that 800 horsepower? Well, it's going to be a blueprinted aluminum block. They're going to have a, a, a positive displacement supercharger assembly, race quality computer balance rotating assembly, including forged twisted steel crankshaft and forged aluminum pistons, along with upgraded cylinder heads. And on top of that, the visual things, we get side stripes that Everybody knows Yanko 4, come on, and unique wheels. So, with more than 100 horsepower over the Ram TRX and 80 more than the Raptor R, is this thing the new king of the jungle? And I know that I just went on and on about street trucks, but if you do want the off-roader, it comes in that as well. If you want to take something like a, a ZR2 or a Trail Boss to them, they will make you an off-road version of this truck that is very similar, except a little bit more capable off of the beaten path. So one of the things that uh, specialty vehicle engineering seemed proud of with this one is that even though it's a ton of power, it's going to be a very drivable vehicle. Um, sometimes when you get these higher horsepower applications, they can be a little bit much on the road, but they guarantee uh, that with the positive displacement supercharger, it'll be a smooth ride. And they have this patent pending boost by wire control system, which seems like voodoo magic to me. Uh, but basically the idea is that instead of just having instantaneous boost, which in racing is one of the benefits of a positive displacement supercharger, not necessarily something that everybody wants to drive around with every day, though. Uh, they kind of have a, a boost by wire control system, um, which gives more boost with more throttle. So it kind of works its way in instead of being an instantaneous, um, instantaneous hit of boost, which, yeah, pure wizardry, if you ask me. Um, now... Let's talk about the part that's a little bit controversial, the price. Well, there's going to be 50 each of these, so it should be 50 uh, street Silverados between... There's a 700 horsepower package, which I didn't mention. It's the 5.3, and then the 800 horsepower is the 6.2. Um, there's going to be 50 each of the Silverado and Sierra on-road and off-road. So there's going to be like 200 of these total floating around. And for that limited production and the high horsepower drivability, pricing starts at $67,995 for the 700 horsepower one, and the 800 horsepower one is essentially 70 grand. This is all going to be on top of the price of the truck. And to get into one of these things, we're looking at about $50,000. So I'd ballpark around 120 to 130, probably a little bit more to get one of these things out the door. Um, but pricing can definitely go over 200000 when you look at the crazy price of the truck market these days and what some of the higher trim level trucks are going for if you want to start with one of those. So I'm, I'm super curious to hear what you guys think of a setup like this. So chime in with your thoughts below. I'm mainly curious to see what people think about that price because dropping seventy grand for an upgrade is so much money. That's like a whole other truck. Is it worth it? Is it too much? Is it due to the limited nature of the trucks? Yanko's pretty cool. So... What do you guys think? 